During World War II, light, medium, and heavy tanks, with application to different roles, were incorporated into doctrine. Generally, light tanks were fast and expected to be ahead of main force, medium tanks being well equipped had to accompany the main thrust of attack and heavies were to break through lines being capable of facing the significant opposition. After World War II, tank design was significantly changed and specific tanks roles were to be replaced by one general purpose design referred to as the MBT, main battle tank, having ultimate firepower, armor like the heavy tank and mobility of the light tank in a package with the weight of medium tank. In this video, we will go through how the MBTs over the period of time developed from this to this. First generation main battle tanks designs were based on the result of World War II. Centurion was the first MBT which entered service in 1945 and saw long service in the UK Army. T-54 was the USSR's first MBT. It is the most mass-produced tank that entered service in 1949 followed by its upgraded version T-55, these were agile tanks and had decent guns at that time. T-55 and its variants had been used worldwide by as many as 50 countries. They have been subject to numerous improvements throughout their production history and many are still in service today. From US side M47 Patton entered service in 1952 which was the development of the M26 Pershing tank during World War II. Further development of the M47 was the M48 Patton initially having 90mm gun and it saw extensive action with US military during the Vietnam War and was upgraded to M48A5 Patton. Besides that Type 61 was the Japanese first MB2 based on the M47 Patton design and it remained in service for a long time till 2000. As compared to first generation, the second generation had enhanced night fighting capabilities and in most cases NBC protection. Most Western tanks of this generation were armed with 105mm Royal Ordnance L7 gun and its versions. By the late 1970s, MBTs were manufactured by China, France, West Germany, Britain, Soviet Union, United States, and many other nations. From Soviet bloc, T-62 appears as the further development of the T-55, having a new powerful 115mm smoothbore cannon that could fire APFSDS rounds, had enlarged chassis as compared to its predecessor. By the 1960s anti-tank rounds became quite powerful, so increasing the rolled homogeneous armor was unpragmatic. The first solution to this problem was the composite armor of Soviet T-64 tank, which included glass reinforced textilite sandwich in between steel layers with glassy plate heavily sloped, and steel turret was provided with aluminum inserts, which helped to resist both high explosive anti-tank, heat, and APDS shells of that era. However, due to the complex design of the T-64, T-72 having simple and cheaper design entered service in 1972, was much more reliable. It was widely exported and saw service in 40 countries and in numerous conflicts. From US side M60 was the second generation MBT entered service in 1959, initially it had a 105mm M68 gun with old M48 turret. M60A1 had the long nose upgraded turret and in this way it was upgraded to M60A3 in 1978 which is the last tank in the patent series produced in United States, having upgrade turret fitted with a laser range finder, M21 solid state ballistic computer, ability to mount explosive reactive armor, to increase turret armor. West Germany after World War II first entered in the tank development jointly with France and Italy. Shortly after that program failed, as Germany decided not to adopt new French 105mm tank gun, France declared that it would postpone production until 1965. As a result, both nations decided to adopt tanks based on their own prototypes. German version became known as Leopard 1, while French prototype became the AMX-30. These tanks lack armor but have superior firepower at that time. There were also other second-generation MBTs, like FV-4201 Chieftain from UK. Japan developed Type 74 which entered service in 1975 at the end phase of this generation. Third generation of main battle tanks is characterized by composite armor and computerized stable fire control systems, which allow firing on the move as well as a very high first hit probability on targets up to 2000 meters away. MBTs falling in this generation are categorized as modern tanks and are in active service. During the hype of Cold War, T-80 entered service in 1976, having layout similar to the T-64 and was world first gas turbine powered tank. It has been updated since then and the latest variant is T-80 BVM. 
T-90 is the latest Russian widely used tank which entered service in 1993, basically it is the upgraded T-72B variant incorporating DNA of T-80U tank. T-90M being the latest version has many next-generation features, it has new 2A46M5 gun, new welded turret with relicked armor, more powerful engine, remotely operated machine gun, and latest Kalina fire control system. Many old T-72s are also upgraded to third-generation standards designated as T-72B3 model 2016 which has improved firepower, new engine and relicked explosive reactive armor, and independent commander thermal imaging site. M1 Abrams is the US latest third-generation MBT which entered service in 1980, Initially having 105mm gun, later M1A1 variant has 120mm smoothbore gun, its final variant M1A2, has improvements in armament, protection, and electronics like independent commander sight. Currently, M1A2 is upgraded to System Enhanced Package SEP, version 3 and 4. Leopard 2 is the core of the German engineering which entered service in 1979, unlike its predecessor it has composite armor. Its main armament is 120mm smoothbore gun. Leopard 2 is being upgraded since then in every aspect. Its current third generation version is Leopard 2A7 Plus, designed for both low and high intensity warfare, it has increased armor protection and advanced gun to accommodate new ammunition. On Chinese side Type 99 was revealed in 2000 and entered service with PLA in 2001. This main battle tank shows a mixture of Russian and Western influence in its design and technology. Currently, it is the most advanced Chinese main battle tank. Type 99A is the further improvement having strong third generation FY for reactive armor and an active protection system combined with better fire control system and motorized with more powerful 1500 horsepower engine. From Europe UK's Challenger 1 entered service in the mid 1980s, the most advanced aspect of the its design was its Chobham armor, which gave protection far superior to any monolithic rolled homogeneous armor, than standard of other western tank. Challenger 2 is an extensive redesign of Challenger 1. Having improved armor and more powerful L-30A1 rifle gun and upgraded fire control system. It entered service in 1998. As time passed British Army realized that the rifle gun will not be sufficient against modern armor so the life extended program was suggested, after many years in 2021 they came up with Challenger 3 having advanced German L-55A1 smoothbore gun, all new turret with improved hull. This tank would enter service in near future. Besides that the French Leclerc, Italian C1 Area T, Japanese Type 90 which is similar to Leopard 2A4 and Sweden Strids Wagon 122 fall in the third generation category. In South Asian region there is Al Khalid main battle tank, which was jointly developed by China and Pakistan. It is a further development of the Chinese Type 92 tank that entered service in 2001. India also has their own third generation Arjun MBT inspired by the German Leopard 2 entered service in 2004. Next generation or fourth generation tanks are still under development or at early stages of their generation while some have entered service. These main battle tanks are using the latest technology and designs to compete with the current advanced warfare environment. T-14 Armada is the most lethal Russian next generation tank having man-less turret and advanced active protection system, the tank first appeared in 2015 parade and is under test and trials having production expected to begin in near future. Turkey and South Korea with mutual cooperation and exchange of technology have manufactured the Altai and K-2 Black Panther having a layout similar to Western design. K-2 Black Panther entered service in 2014 and the Altai due to some technical issues is expected to enter service in 2023. From all that we can say that the main battle tank has evolved from being simple to indestructible machines that can survive the harsh of the modern battlefield.